All right, welcome back. Starting it off, I'm going to talk a little bit about Cydia. And one of the first tweaks starting off is one of the reasons why I got it, which is the PlayStation emulator PSX for all. Like I said before, I chose an iPod 3G, our third generation, 32 gig, 5.1.1. It's a lot of memory, perfect for all that I needed. I don't need the camera or anything like that. I just need it all just for games and music, pretty much. Just what I use, so. Uh, start it off. Let's see. There it is. PlayStation emulator. Or PSX for all. Make sure you how to use that. And I'm going to talk about Cydia. Uh, it's basically, if y'all don't know, which you should, and if you're watching this video of Jailbreak, it's about, pretty much, it's the free hub of downloading stuff, which is considered tweaks. Um, allows you to do countless things that normally you wouldn't be able to do on an iDevice, which is virtually endless. Um, City is just one of the most awesome, greatest things I've ever <laughs> Scene. Uh, show you all the version right there. All right, now it does take a little time to load. I know that's like the only thing that runs slow on it when you jailbreak it, but I'm gonna show right here is all the sources that you need from the last video to get the everything cut fully customized and also the perks and setting up PlayStation emulator and stuff so you'll need all these copy these down if you need to and zoom back in Okay, when you get that, all you gotta do is type in PSX, PSX, and the first one you're gonna wanna get is PSX BIOS and PSX for all 3 or 3.0. It's made by Zod, and of course, he makes all the emulators and this one is the perfect one to get and then you're gonna need PSX BIOS which basically if you don't have this it will crash you need let's see if it says it I'll show it later it, it, it'll keep it from crashing it's basically like the SH file the next you're gonna want the Safari download enabler it lets you download whatever is on the safari just as if like music movies games whatever's on there and finally last but not least you need to download ifile which basically is like a directory it allows you to open up search for folders all throughout your hard drive of your memory and you can add folders, erase, and save folders in certain spots, allowing you to set up the emulator right to work. And a special note, since you used all these off of uh, sources, you used all these sources, so you should be able to get every one of these free because they're all purchased items. But if you use all these sources you should be able to get it for free so you don't have to worry about that and finally okay you open up PSX yours will not look like this it will not have all these games in it as I've already used it but you want to open it up and start it up and then you want to open up iFile now if you downloaded the BIOS it should automatically filter it for you and go back you're gonna start off at the slash you know just hit later you don't have to register it's for paying but you bypassed it you wanna go all the way down 
to VAR. You want to go to mobile, media, and you want to go to ROMs. It'll automatically add it if you open up PSX before. Here's all the different emulators I have right now. You want to open up PSX, and none of these will be in here. But the one that will will be this the SCPH 1001.bin. Now, that is the BIOS, which allows it to, whenever you open PSX and you try to play a game, it won't do the constant ugly crash and you won't ever be able to play it. So now all you need to do is go in your Safari because you downloaded Safari Download Enabler and you want to go to coolroms.com and it'll automatically transfer you to the mobile site and you look for a game you want like this one for instance a lot of them aren't really big memory I'm not going to download this all the way but I'm just going to show you when you click download it should look like this start downloading and eventually you'll go to another screen and it'll say like save and you click save and you save it with iFile you'll be able to direct it where you want it to go and just direct it into your PSX folder and then my file all you're going to do is unzip the folder and you should have all these dot bins dot bins are what you need for it to work and then finally when you get that going all you need to do is you can choose a game and you could choose either portrait or landscape sounds or no sounds I know some games only work landscape and sound but you can turn off the sound if you don't want to hear it or portrait and no sound so if you do portrait you'll have controller like this you'll have your boot up it shouldn't crash because of your bios which is pretty cool a lot of people like this easier I mean it's a little screen but all the buttons are easier they're not transparent so you'll be able to hit everything right away and as you can see no crashing working good one of my top games I like to play, Breath of Fire 3. And then you can also save to states, which means like you don't have to find a save spot to do it. It'll actually save wherever, which is pretty cool I found because some games you can't save. So it'd be cool to save and now landscape. Here's what it would look like with the transparent buttons. Which I, I normally play like this. I just play like that, start tapping. So, yeah, uh, rate, like, comment below. One of the first tweaks starts showing out here. I'm going to go through air, each and every one, so don't worry. But that, my friends, is how you get PlayStation Emulator on your iPod, iPhone, or whatever, once it's jailbroken. And pretty much it's the same with all the other emulators, you don't have to worry about it. Except, this is the only one where you actually have to download BIOS. All the rest of them you don't have to download BIOS. And you just download the software and you'll be able to play as you want. Alright, enjoy.